Here is a picture of a kite festival. Does anyone know what city this is? San Francisco. Chicago. Keep going. San Antonio. It's in Texas. Oh, I'm there. El Paso. El Paso. Austin, woo! I knew someone would say it eventually. It's the capital. It is the annual kite festival in Austin. Do you see all those people? I mean, this is downtown Austin. That's their skyline. And look at all the kites in the air. Beautiful. Okay. Um, who's ever seen Mary Poppins? Everyone has. Well, let's watch a little clip from here. No, make me go suicidal. Make you go suicidal? Oh, goodness. Mm-hmm. Hey, you have to have like super hearing to hear this. I just wanted to show that clip because when I hear the word kite, I think of that clip. Let's go fly a kite. All right. What in the world is a kite? Some people mistake it for a diamond. When I first did the magnifying glass thing, some of you said it was a diamond, but it's actually really it's like a, a kite. an arrowhead. It's like an arrowhead. Okay, I'll take it. So the definition and um, property number one, but don't write it down yet. Don't write it down yet. A kite is a quadrilateral. What does that mean? No, a kite is a quadrilateral. What does that mean? Four sides. It has four sides. A quadrilateral, a four-sided figure with exactly two pairs of consecutive congruent sides. How is that definition different from a parallelogram? There's a word that's different. Parallel? Nope, parallelogram. Oh, oh, okay. Well, in a parallelogram, what kind of sides are congruent? Opposite, opposite sides. Opposite. In a kite, what kind of sides are congruent? Consecutive. consecutive. So the opposite sides in a kite are not congruent. It's the consecutive sides, the ones next to each other. So here's property number one. Add it to your family tree. Two pairs. Consecutive, congruent sides. Then add tick marks to your picture. Your picture is oriented a different way than mine, so be careful. On your family tree, your picture looks like this. So make sure you put the tick marks in the correct spot on your kite on your family tree. You took it home. Some some people took it home one day to do it at home. All right. Look at the next picture. Cool. What do you think right. next Let's property is raise your hand? There's a right angle with the diagonal. The diagonals are perpendicular. Very good. Jerry, there is a right angle, but that's not like the name of the property, okay? Number two, the diagonals are perpendicular. Like Jared said, that means they cross at a 90 degree angle. That means we're gonna have right triangles again. No. Uh, raise your hand to tell me what other shape <laughs> has diagonals that are perpendicular. <laughs> okay, well, squares everything. Yes, who said someone said it? Rectangles. Whoever said wrong was first. It was a male voice in this area. Okay, I don't know who it was, but a rhombus shares this with a kite. It's like they're cousins. They're cousins. They share this property that the diagonals are perpendicular. So that means we're going to be doing Pythagorean theorem. If this is three and this is four, what's the length of that side? Five. Three, four, five. It's called a Pythagorean triple. Call it Pythagorean It's okay. All right. This is not a property, so don't write this down. Raise your hand if you've heard of the word symmetry. Symmetry, right? It's the same on the left as it is on the right. It's the same on the top as it is on the bottom. It's like a mirror image. So kites have a line of symmetry. Most of the time, like I'm talking 95% of the time, 
the line of symmetry is going to be the longer diagonal. This is what 95% of the time it'll look like. <laughs> sometimes though, I don't want you to be fooled, sometimes the line of symmetry can be the shorter diagonal, but doesn't that look like a really funky kite? Yes. I had to really force myself to draw it that way because I don't normally draw it that way. So anyways, one of the diagonals, one of the diagonals is going to be a line of symmetry. 95% of the time, it'll be the longer. longer diagonal. But I just wanted to show you that it could be the shorter. Now, the diagonal of symmetry, the diagonal of symmetry is going to bisect the other diagonal. That's too much. It's going to cut it in half. You could just write one of the diagonals get cut in half if you want to. One of the diagonals are going to get cut in half. Do they both get cut in half? Nah. No. One of them has a midpoint. The other one, you can tell. Look, this segment is definitely shorter than this segment. So one of them gets cut in half. Likewise, one of the diagonals is going to, what is this picture showing? Bisect the angle. One of the diagonals is going to cut the angles in half. Does it feel darker? Yes, I turned one of the lights out for the Mary Poppins. But I think it makes the screen look better anyway, so I'm going to keep it out. Until we work on the worksheet, I'll keep it that way. So, one of the diagonals, it's the same one, he cuts two things in half. He cuts the other diagonal in half, and he cuts the angles in half. Check out my big sound club. Okay. Can I keep going? No, I want to hear you. Okay. Every time we're on your um, notes page now, every time you're given a kite, what I want you to do is I want you to bold the diagonal of symmetry. I want you to bold it. Like I said. 95% of the time, it's going to be the longer one. So everyone bold <coughs> the diagonal that cuts things in half. That way we'll know that literally everything on the right of that line is identical to the stuff on the left. It's so cool. It's a mirror. So, guys, if this angle is 27 on the left, what's the one on the right? Because it's a mirror. You are bolding. You're literally bolding a mirror. 27 looks in the mirror and sees 27. Okay, um, <coughs> Elijah, what's the measure of angle 1? Oh, no. I don't even know. It's one of the properties of a kite. Ooh. The diagonals are per perpendicular, which means the angles are 90 degrees. degrees. So what's the measure of angle 1, Elijah? 90. So these are... 90, 90, 90, 90. Okay. Zaya, don't tell me the answer to the measure of angle two. Just tell me how we would find the measure of angle two. Jared, don't make Could you do like 180 minus Almost. 180 minus 90 minus 27. Because you see this triangle right here? Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. See this triangle, Zaya? We've got 90, we've got 27, and we've got missing. So you add up 90 and 27 and subtract it from 180. Haley, what do you get? I'm just saying the answer. Very nice, 63. So that was focusing on angles, not on sides. Um, what's the measure <coughs> of this angle right here? Hold up. It's a mirror. It's a mirror. 63. Good. Angle two looks in the mirror and sees 63. Okay? All right. Try this one. Quadrilateral kite is a kite. Imagine that. KS is 7. Label your picture. IE is 26. And IT is 20. Are these sides or angles? Sides. Sides. So don't you dare use 180. Don't you dare use 90. Well, I'm going to use 90 indirectly. Did you bold the diagonal that is the line of symmetry? Did you bold it? Because I want you to do that every time because it's a mirror. Here's your mirror. 
If that is my mirror, then Savannah, how long is ET? ET. Uh, 20. ET phone home. <laughs> Good. 20. That's a terrestrial. 20, 20. It's a mirror. Araceli, how long is SI? Very good. 13. Alondra, how did she get 13? What'd she do? 26 by 2. If it's a mirror, then this half is identical to this half. It's half and half. Trent, don't tell me what K is, but tell me how we would get KE. How would we get KE? Pythagorean theorem? <gasps> yes, sir. Very good. Pythagorean theorem. Betty's not here. Chris, tell me what to... Tell me what my Pythagorean theorem equation would be. Thank you for saying plus. Sometimes we get mixed up whether it's plus or minus. 7 squared plus 13 squared. Take the square root. Claire, tell me what you get. Good. 10.95. She rounded to 11. I'm fine with that <coughs> since it didn't tell us what to round to. 10.95. You're welcome to round it to 11. Oh, I did that. That, that's not what y'all got. What'd y'all get? I got 14. 14. Yes, 15. 14 point? 7, seven no, 6. No. So I would do 14.8. Did you see? Did you do so? What'd you do? Minus. You subtracted. Okay. Um, ST. Lillian, how would we get ST? <laughs> You would do Pythagorean theorem, but it's going to be a little bit different. Tell me what we're going to enter in our calculator. Um, Beautiful. Awesome. 20 squared minus 13 squared. If your picture gets too crowded, promise me you will go off to the side and you'll redraw that triangle. This triangle right here goes here. This is 20, this is 13, and this is x. If your picture gets too crowded, redraw it. Um, Jacob, what do you get? 20 squared minus 13 squared. Be careful not to back up to the camera because then there's. I'm sorry, what? 15.2? <coughs> yeah. Y'all getting 15.2 as well? Trent, did you get that? Yeah. All right. So that example's over. Do y'all like kites? Are kites okay? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. It squares. I forgot Squire. to put my watch on today. All right. Bold the <laughs> diagonal of symmetry every time, all the time, each time. It's your mirror. M N O is 72 degrees, and O L M is 98 degrees. I'm going to give you a minute to work on it. Martin, this one's yours. Anahi, this one's yours. Rena, this one's yours. DJ, that one's yours. Madison's not here. And Jared, this one's yours. When you're ready, go ahead and put your answer on the board. You don't need to go up in order. Sorry, I gave you such an easy one. Very good. Thank you, Renat. That's a four, forty nine.
Okay, pray them. How they do? Five for five. How they do? Claire, how they do? Oh, I love it. I probably got. Ah. Okay, let's go over them. Step one: we would take seventy-two and we would bisect it, divided by two. Twenty. I mean, uh, thirty-six. So, mirror image. Thirty-six looks in the mirror and sees thirty-six. So we have that. Then we would take 98, 49. 49. Wait, and we would home. bisect it. You want to come change yours? Yes, I do. Come on right, up. Come on, come on down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then we know 90, 90, 90, 90. So from here on out, we're just going to be subtracting angles from 180, right? We're going to look at triangles and subtract from 180. Just grab the next page. It's fine. Okay, let's look at it. So, let's just start, pick a triangle and start with it. If this is 90 and this is 49, then the missing angle would be um, 180 minus 90 minus 49. 44. 41. What? 90 minus 49. Oh, no. Okay. 41 looks in the mirror and sees 41. 180 minus 90 minus 40. Okay, you always have two of the same angle. It's always going to be doubled because of the mirror. Now let's look at this triangle. 180 minus 90 minus 36, or just 90 minus 36, and you get 54. Looks in the mirror and sees 54. So did we get all these right? This is 49. Okay. 49. L O M is correct. N M P 54 and P N O 36. Is that what you had at first? I had 30. I accidentally did 32. Oh, okay. P N O is this angle right here. It's 72 cut in half. It's back to 36. This angle right here. Okay. 36. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Last example, and then we can practice. Quadrilateral ABCD is a kite. We're going to bold the line of symmetry. And these numbers are going to be easier to work with because they're 30, 60, 90, right? You see that? That will be easier to work with than 49, 41, 54, whatever we had going on in the other picture. So. This one's going to be Jose, Elijah, Zaya, Haley, Savannah, and Araceli. Can you just put like Whenever you're ready. Can you just like put the H in Zaya because it's like... Go ahead when you're ready. Solve this problem even if I didn't call on you. Chase from here to half of that, okay? It's 30. But we'll go over it. Okay. Zaya Araceli? Oh my goodness, you're awesome, Zaya. Very good. All the right name for that one. Oh, try again, Araceli, try again. BD. BE is 7, so BD can't be 7. Beautiful. All right, you ready for this? Let's do it. 
Mirror image. So, 60, 60. 14. Diagonals are perpendicular. In a right triangle that has a 60 degree angle, what's the other angle every time? 30, 60, 90. 30 looks in the mirror and sees? 30, 30, 30. Now we can deal with sides. 14 is across from 90. X, x root 3, 2, x. Because we love having a pattern, we don't have to use Pythagorean theorem. Where does the 14 go in the columns? <laughs> the 2x, thank you DJ. How do you undo times 2? What's the opposite of times 2? Thank you Trent. Divide by 2. So the one across from 30 is 7, and the one across from 60 that Desiah did perfectly is 7 root 3. If you had put 7 root 3 as a decimal, that would not be wrong. You would have gotten 12.1. So if you got 12.1 on this one, that would have been A-OK. -okay. And now we can work on our assignment. Yay!